Omar is a boy that, you know, very fast I gain like the strongest uh, respect and affection for. We worked together for several days, you know, several days and night. We stayed like 24 hours together in that ambulance, sleeping, eating. In the beginning he said he, he was a 19 years old boy and he said I was afraid of fighting. You know, he had no idea how to fight. And he said, but I want to be involved. And they said, okay, we have an ambulance here. You know, if you like, you can drive it. It was amazing how serious he was about saving the life of those who, at that moment, they needed to, including Gaddafi soldiers. In many cases, we rescued Gaddafi soldiers, uh, anyone. We had been targeted many times because we had to, to drive uh, side roads and very rough. And there were gunshots all the time, so the, the doctors, they couldn't work in the back of the ambulance. And uh, Omar felt like we can't stop, right? But the doctor then said, okay, good, we stop here. And then we get shot and Omar gets very nervous. But uh, the next hour, we, once the, 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 the patient is at the hospital, he's okay. So let's go back. That's what makes the, these people different, that they decide to stay. They, start to, they, they decide to take steps that go beyond the physical barrier of uh, the bullets and also maybe beyond the emotional uh, barrier that we have. Should I help this person? It's very dangerous. The doctors, they fasc it's a fascinating kind of, uh, you know, people because like they, they have families, they have, uh, you know, houses, they are normal people. They are, I mean, and uh, many of them, they decide to run, I mean, as anyone would do. And, but a few of them, they decide to stay and uh, to, to treat and to help and to advise because uh, they can, you know, they can contribute with a lot. And, um, and also like the doctors, you know, because they imagine like you have to uh, take decisions that can cost the life of someone, you know, in a very, f in very few seconds, a decision you take could cost the life of someone that need your help there. It must be something special in the mind of these people and in the hearts of these people. Doctors, look, this is from Gaddafi army and this is from us. We saved two. In a war, like the people, they, the, the emotions, uh, they are out of control in most of the people. And uh, the enemies, they see the doctors as, um, as irresponsible for treating those they hate. You know, like, uh, if I'm trying to kill that person so hard, why do you save him? Why are you making my, my, you know, my, my work hard? Or, for example, you imagine uh, in a situation where someone committed uh, atrocities against your family, your friends, your neighborhood, and um, this person is captured, and, uh, and then this person is alive and needs to be treated as well. The doctors, again, why? You know, he, this person is, had been killing us this morning, you know, so why should we treat them? So, you know, that's where the doctors, they go beyond the, the you know, the traditional w f view of war. And they can see like, okay, he's a human being and we have to treat him 